Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Persona 5 Platinum 100% walkthrough This is just my casual let's play of Persona 5 But we're not trying too hard specifically to do anything crazy And more just trying to enjoy ourselves playing Persona again For the first time since our blind playthrough on camera And uh, getting that Platinum trophy and completing all the cool side things such as beating the Reaper and collecting every single persona and doing all the social links and having just a completed playthrough before Persona 5 Royal comes out. So as I've mentioned before, we are currently in Mementos. What that means is I am going to be running from the ancients of Mementos all the way down to the area 7 of Path of Ayatubis. The reason for that is I want to collect as many items as I can along the way, collect as many, um, what do you want to call them, um, sellable items and get any experience and uh, experience and yen I can get from enemy encounters while I make my way there because we are playing on a higher difficulty than recommended we do need a little bit extra to make it so I'm gonna edit now once again and I'll meet you guys all at area 7 where we will continue the let's play and we will actually um, go complete the side quest and see all the new areas and what they have to offer us for now I'll see you guys in a second okay and we made it just gonna do a quick Heal on my characters with Morgana. No, not Diorama. Media, please. And uh, yeah, we I quickly did that. It wasn't even that long. It took like less than 20 minutes to do it, so that was fine. And I got a bunch of cool shit, so let's go. Make some actual progress in the game for a change. I, I think it's worth it. I fought three regions. Three. Which means I got 15,000 yen and about 920 something experience. So that's completely worth it. This is because more people believe in us now, right? That has to be it now then. Let's get in there. So I'm assuming that maybe because it's rainy season, that's why I got three regions. I'm not entirely sure. All I know is I did get three regions, so that was really cool. Because uh, it got me a ton of uh, gold and... Or not yen. It got gold. Yen, sorry. Doesn't this look different from how it was before? It looks like it's a new area from here on. I'm starting to understand how this place works. Yes, it is quite a marvel to find the subway system down here. Ah, Earth Yusuke. It's always been like that. I can sense our target somewhere in this area. Let's scour this floor for them. So, the guide once again is going to make me only do half of this chamber section. I don't know why they always do this. It's kind of weird. Um, but I'm going to stick to it for now. It, just, it does work out okay. Oh, and a the deeper I get, Ipon Datarara. Like, I didn't actually think we would kill it like that, but okay, that's fine. Uh, the, the more I do this, um, every subsequent visit means there's going to be more for me to explore and see, which is a great deal, so I'm very excited about that. So I have noticed that my sound is very high, uh, so I've, I've tried to uh, work on that. So let me know if I fix it, guys. I've tried to make it a little bit more so my voice is loud and louder than the game, but not overpowering like it was in the early episodes. So. I do apologize about that. I haven't mentioned that much. I think I might have, but I'm playing on with the sound quite a bit now. I'm always worried that I make myself too soft. All right. Because I would rather be heard above the game. Uh, unless there's cuts and things, so yeah, I don't talk anyway. Um, so yeah, I don't want to be too, too loud. And it also makes, uh, if I'm too loud, it also causes like a scratching sound, which is not great. I mean, we might as well still kill the, the target. There's no reason for us to not. We're going we to explore this whole floor anyway. Hmm, I can sense the target up ahead. Do you want to head in? Let's go. We're gonna fight our first target here. I can't remember who it is. Uh, it doesn't really matter whoever it is. We're gonna beat them nonetheless. Nothing there will change. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Easy. Oh. There he is, Oda, the shop manager. What an unpleasant smile. It's his custom service smile, right? Yet behind the scenes, he's extorting his subordinates. This guy might start doing it to his customers too. Who knows? Huh? That would be a disaster. Let's go. I feel you, dude. Welcome, welcome. How may I help you, ladies and gents of the Fanta Thieves? Why do you blackmail your own employees? That's not normal. My shop is directly managed store of a large chain since I'm highly competent I'm in charge. I don't need strangers complaining about how I use the shop's money. Part-time workers are the property of the shop, thus they are mine to use as I will. What? Property? Who do you think you are? I get it now, you pretend to be heroes, but you are just criminals. I'm gonna kill you. And that's a little bit of passive aggressive guys, but okay. Oh a senior a senior something, right? Let's go. This thing is actually a very decent persona early game. It's actually a pretty strong one too. Um I remember specifically last time I think I actually struggled against this guy. Outlaws who dare trespass in my sanctuary, prepare to be royalty royally obliterated by my hand. Yeah, let's start with Freya. 
did nothing. Okay, we'll go for a little assault dive. Nice dodge and a little bit of uh, Aguilia. Can fire them. Did good damage, but it wasn't his weakness. We can try some Zoinga now. But also not his weakness. And we can use some Garou because apparently my dude has Garou, which I didn't even know he had. So that's <laughs> kind of interesting. Um, So let's go for a normal attack then. Ooh. That's really bad. Masukundu. That lowers everyone's evasion and accuracy. Which is very problematic, obviously. Luckily, Anne did not miss. Okay. What about some shotgun shells? Wow! He literally dodged all four shotgun shells. Oh, I'm looking at you guys. I'm kind of pissed off about that one, but okay. It is what it is, you know? Okay. He's, he's dead anyway, but... I missed all four of um, Ryuji shotgun shells. That one kind of hurts a lot because... It co it's really costly because Ryuji only has 8 shells in the first place. 860 experience load, which is freaking insanely good. And then 12,000 yen, which is amazing. So, all in all, that was definitely a good, good payday for us. Uh, Kodama leveled up, of course. I think he leveled up like 3 times now. <laughs> that was insanity, but okay. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. Um, he learned Sui and Evil Touch, and I need to learn Tawakaja. He has so many abilities. Wow. Uh, I'm sorry. Am I really not worthy of being the store manager? That's right, at least you realize it. You're fired. Uh, let's just say at least you realize it. I'm a failure. I remember now employees aren't property. They're human beings. And yet, I took advantage of them. I've done bad things. Talk about a horrible workplace. I don't know how I can make even... I don't know how I can ever make up for this. You've done quite a bit more, haven't you? It would be best if you just confess everything. Yeah, go confess, my Beep, Chinese sweets. Huh? Aren't those Chinese desserts or something? I see, so he was lining his own pockets. I mean, I don't understand that. Like, how does... Li like, what? How does Chinese sweets correspond to lining your own pockets? Yeah. Well, that's that. What now? You want to keep exploring? Let's keep going. Okay, I'm good to go. So, as I mentioned, um... For us... We're only going to be doing, like, the half of chamber and then we are leaving. Which is a little bit unfortunate, but that is how the, the game designer, or not the game designer, the guides designer, uh, wrote the guides, so that's how we're gonna do it, I guess. I already have that persona. What the hell can it be if I have it? Wait, did I get a persona? Ipunta Tarara. I will keep Ipunta Tarara. I think it's fine. Do, do, do. Chemda. I like Chemda actually. Chemda is one of the nice um, areas. Warmed up and ready to go. The enemies are nice. Oh, these are strong. And uh, it's not creepy. <laughs> There's this purplish area that comes up later on. It's so creepy. Why is what have I done? What? That's so cool. I've never seen that. Um, I don't know why... Whenever I take a certain character out of my party, such as... Uh, I took out Yosuke, who was our um, ice user. And then every enemy is weak to the... <laughs> it's almost as if... My brain subconsciously knows what the enemies in the next area are going to reach to, and then it removes those people from my body or something. <laughs> I know that sounds kind of weird and also maybe a little bit um, conspiracy theorist-ish, but uh, it does seem to be the case. Dude, how many turns do these guys still want to get? I mean, they're missing, which is great, but damn, son. They're getting so many turns, it's crazy. Then I get a first mate badge from... Or second mate badge from the Big Bang Burger place. Right. I should actually check that equipment because I, I just remembered it now and I kind of forgot. Um, Big Bang thingy. Second mate badge. Just, oh, just that of 10 HP. I thought it was like more stats. Never mind. I don't care about that. I thought it was like, uh, HP, but it was stats. Oh, once again, I found the way out very quickly because it's a natural talent on my. It's a natural talent on my. I found the way to the, the target immediately and then found my way to the exit immediately. <laughs> kind of insane, but. One of my one of my weird skills I have always to get out of mazes or exploration areas very very easily and very quickly, uh, and I think it comes I think it comes from the uh, fact that I'm a JRPG gamer, and as a JRPG gamer you usually want to do as much exploring as you can. So then, because I want to do as much exploring as I can, then my gaming thingy I don't know how to say it without sounding weird, but basically like. I somehow ma magically managed to find a way onto the game every time, which means I need to backtrack to actually explore all the side content that I was actually after in the first place. 
Yeah, time pass to Makoto. Because we can Makoto get the time pass now, which is really cool. Eight point of Tarot Spits. I already have it on Tarot. Give me some money then. Hello, hello. There you go. 3,000 yen. You can do better than Another 3,000 yen. I'll take it off. That's like 7,000 yen, dude. That's like double that of. It's not double, but it's like 2,000 2, more yen that I would have got from a. Um, what do you want to call it? Um, a region. One of those regions, which are the treasure. Treasure dudes. Treasure. Shadows. Treasure shadows? Treasure personas? Maybe. Might be treasure personas. Might be more that the more accurate way to say. Mokai! Hello Mokai. We two I I win, sorry. Ah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't seem like we'll be too much problem. Now I don't think it's Chemda, but there's an area where we fight these like um I think I think they called overlords, uh in the original persona, but in this one they called Cro Ch 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 Chozonas or something? I never... I can't remember... Chronozona? Cro or Cro Chronoza? Kind of like that. But there's like these really ugly, like, brain ball sack, fucking disgusting, veiny, very nasty looking personas. I think we might fight those in Chemda, but I also think... I'm not sure if it's the next area though. All I know is I hate that area because I encounter those guys. <laughs> I'm like, I don't want to encounter these things that are ugly. Got a low error. Nice. I like that you can do that. You can just go to low error like that. Just does save a tiny bit of time. Hey, how many floors on this? How many areas on this floor anyway? The last floor had seven areas, but the one before that only had two, right? I suppose it varies depending upon the location. I guess that means it ain't easy to tell how much of a floor we got left to cover, huh? That's right. We won't know how many areas are on a floor until we make it to the end. But judging from the vibe I'm getting from the shadows, this floor isn't any smaller than the last. Cool. So we know at least seven floors, which is very nice. Nice. A nice little dead end. I always like it when we find dead ends like that. I just feel... Ooh, I almost ran away from it for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> that was weird. My brain was like, run! I was like, uh... What? Koropo Kuguru? Seriously? These are like... It's like Marurama level enemies. What? Why am I fighting Marurama level enemies? Talk. Ah, uh, give me the goods. I like to just, if there's a red one, if I see a red one, I like to take the red one. Even if I get something useless like a devil fruit. It's okay. I don't want that persona specifically. And, um... It works okay. Alright. You want to speak to this item? Hello, shut up. Two McCoys and an Ifon de Tarara. Eh, a little bit frustrating to miss, but whatever. Nice dodge, and Anna's been on the ball lately. Oh, they kind of shrunk that. Okay. That sucks a little bit. I forgot Ifon de Tarara is actually strong against that. Oh, what a mess, dude. What? Ifon de Tarara is actually. Um, Strong against ice specifically. I mean fire, sorry, he, he is weak against ice. He's strong against fire. What am I saying? I'm still a little bit half asleep, guys. It's okay. I mean, I've only been awake for an hour. I've only been awake for an hour, but you know, it's a Sunday and relaxing and Okay. Just recording some persona. It's the first this so this video will come out on the first of February. So for you guys, it's the first of February today. I don't know what day first of February is, but for me it's a Sunday and it's not the first of February, that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so, yeah. Boss. Nice. okay, that's good. We can just fudge your boss and then use Morgana to die around and heal um, Makoto, and it shouldn't be a problem. I think I'm actually gonna do that right now. Dude, the experience is pretty bad here, though. I'm kind of shocked by how low the quality of experience is. I was expecting a little bit higher than that, but I guess it's fine. Might be just because uh, this is what I said. As I said, this seems to be a Marorama based area. And, dude, I, I don't know what it is, but I can find the exit to any area in Persona, like, no problem. Um, this is a Marorama area, and we've obviously been to a kind of Shira area. So, we are like fighting enemies from one palace lower than what we ha have explored. Do you know what I mean? Does that make sense? I'm sure that makes sense. Electric wall. All this goes the electric electricity weakness. But not the whip weakness though. <laughs> I wish there was a whip weakness. Wouldn't a whip weakness be interesting, guys? Like, 
this enemy is weak to getting whipped. Oh yeah. No, that could be sexual. All right. Probably wouldn't put that in again. Although Persona, it's not too. It doesn't shy too much away from sexual content. Um, if you think about the Kamoshida case, and you think about some of the Persona looks, and um, the fact that there's all these romance options with older women and stuff like that, so more of a, a mature nature, which is actually very nice. It's refreshing. Like Japanese clothing, but why a Kitsune mask? If you want something goofier, there's always a Hyotoko mask. What's a Hyotoko mask? Which is really refreshing because in games, like there's this weird idea that you have to pander to children or something with games. Like, oh, you can't have um, nudity, you can't have gore, you can't have violence, you can't have uh, aggression or anything like that. I'm just like, why? Why can't we have that? Like, there's nothing wrong with it. It's all about, like, the amount of it in and the level of it. Like, it's not like you're making games that the entire game is just like a porn or pornographic gruesome freaking hostage movie type style thing like it's a normal game it's very chill child friendly i think persona personally my, my personal opinion very funny very cute lots of cute things like morgana some of the personas are a bit disgusting looking i'm not going to deny that okay. that mean and that could be considered like a little bit more but i mean if you watched any home movie ever then Persona would be completely fine. Completely fine, not even slightly problematic. So for me, it's just a little bit frustrating that games these days are so busy pandering to the small percentage of younger audiences that they forget that there's a very, very large gamer community between the ages of 20 and 30 that we want some more mature in our game. We want some more realism in our game, you know? We also want to have some fantasy and excitement. That's just a cat that can talk. But, you know, we also want to have some, uh, you know, some actual uh, meaningful type dialogue, relationships, uh, intellectual conversations with characters in the game. Uh, things to think about, like the Kamashirin and how, how that affects someone like she Shiho. And that's like really... Um, like deep and that's actually like life altering that type of content so it's like really important and i think that games need to realize that and they need to stop pandering so much to this like false image of everything has to be child friendly these days i mean look at youtube like you can't put a video out on youtube now at all if you're not child friendly it's like what let's go this off them i have to label all of my videos on my youtube as not child friendly even though Nothing I do isn't child friendly. Hmm, I can sense the target up ahead. Do you want to head in? Let's go. So my videos are all labeled as unchild, not child friendly. They are not made for children. They are not child friendly. And the worst thing that happens is in my videos, I might say fuck. You know, like, oh, fuck, okay. or shit, or damn. You know, like, really? That's not child friendly? Uh, you guys didn't grow up in the 90s, and you didn't watch movies in the 90s, that's why. <laughs> there it is. That should be the shadow of the man named Uchimura. Hmm? Doesn't he look like he's worried about something? But he's abusing his girlfriend, right? Oh man, didn't her fortune say she's gonna get seriously hurt? Huh? We can't let that come true. Let's hurry. I actually forgot about this. <laughs> I was like, who's this guy again? This is horrible. Damn it, I can't away all my money again. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it! Where is she? Get over here so I can beat you. Don't beat your girlfriend. I'm sorry for your girlfriend. Duh, I mean, both of these don't matter, right? Because don't beat your girlfriend should be obvious. I don't think I need to tell him that. And I'm sorry for your girlfriend means that it's like he's the bad guy but she's also at fault because she should have left that toxic relationship ages ago and got away from him but she's choosing to stay with him so it's kind of like it's a lose-lose situation because what he's doing is wrong but what she's doing is just as wrong so maybe they're perfect for each other anyway let's just go for the nice guy thing i'm sorry for your girlfriend what don't you dare lecture me she's mine i can do whatever i want with her beating her is a right that only i have i'll have you know that she loves it too if you want to get in my way, then you're going to die. I don't think she loves it though, dude. She's going to a fortune teller trying to find ways not to get beat, but still stand in relationship with you for only God knows what reason. So, I don't think specifically that um, she likes getting beat up, dude. I mean, there are women that like to have some uh, aggressive things in their relationship, but I don't think abuse counts. I'm going to punch you too. You're going to punch. You're going to punch. You're going to punch me. Makoto punch him. Good work, Makoto. Rampage. Oh, that's not good. Nice dodges. I always worry about Rampage because Rampage does random damage. And you guys might think, no, it doesn't. It it does literally random damage, guys. Sometimes it will do like Makoto's entire HP gauge on, on from full HP. And then other times it will do... Let's go for speed. I think speed might be good. Oh, wow. I'm a world's best gamer. 
kick his ass, guys. He's an abusive motherfucker. Beat him up. I do not condone abuse. So this guy will get beat up. Hey, he didn't completely get beat up. But soon. Soon. Raylia. He's still alive? He might rampage. Okay, well, if he rampages, Makoto could have died. So I was a little bit worried. I think we can kill him with normal attacks. Uh, we can't really kill him with normal attacks. One more. Ah, good work, Ryuji. I'm always relying on Ryuji. Wide, turn out like this. I guess the game is making me come... 902 experience? Wow, that's nice. I guess the game is kind of going out of its way to make me come here when I'm way over-leveled for these enemies. So, I am... It is much easier than what I remember. Remember Lost? I actually remember my blind page. If you guys want to go check my blind play throughout, selfish self-plug, I know. Uh, you guys can. Um, the my, my blind playthrough is on my channel and it's actually really entertaining. I actually think it's really good. I'm very impressed with my little blind playthrough and what I did with it. So if you guys want to check that out, feel free. Um, and you can see how I actually struggled against guys like this. I remember some of these, these um, what do you want to call them? Targets in mementos were so difficult. I got my butt handed to me. It was insanity, insanity. But without further ado, all skill slots are currently full. Please select tank. Tenter food, medium chance to confuse all foes. I guess we can get rid of Agi for that. Can we change up I'd like to try this skill Very nice. Can we change up the I the, the ability um where it is? This is horrible. You know what I mean? Like the order. I hate it. I hate it when people just look at me like I'm just a bug to them. I can do better. I'm a superior human being. All the people around me just don't get it. Mm. I I don't think so, dude. Slipstick. Mm. Phew. The right to beat his girlfriend. He was really the worst of the worst to think that. We changed hearts, so let's go tell the fortune teller when we get the chance. Request complete. You know what the problem with this one is? I don't, okay. I don't want to be this guy, and I don't want to be Mr. Negativity all time. But you know what the problem with that with that quest is? Were we doing it to help? Were we doing it to help the girl? Oh my word! I mean, the accuracy becomes a joke, but the damage is insane. Um. Were we doing it to help the girl, or were we doing it to help ourselves? You guys know what I'm saying? Because like we trying to help the, or I, or you think we trying to help the girls getting abused by boyfriend, but we might also just be doing it to prove the um, fortune teller wrong, which means this would be a selfish request that we just done, which would actually make us like horrible people, I think. Oh, I need to heal my people. My bad. I can do it now, I guess. There you go. I do, 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 do. Double fangs? I'm actually surprised you got it. Too. Zoinga? So, I've actually been thinking to myself, guys. And I don't know, you guys can let me know what you think. In the, do I want this guy? Uh, nah. I was, I've actually been thinking to myself, maybe it's a good idea to hold on to these low-level spells, like Agi, Zio, Bufu, like the level 1 versions. Because they use so much less MP, which means you can use it to knock more enemies down late game, which means you'll use less enemy late game, which means you'll be able to explore late game easier. You know what I mean? You guys know what I'm saying? I know you know what I'm saying. So. Can I... Um... I want to, like say Anne, right? I want to arrange. <gasps> you can. Oh, that is so nice, dude. That's what. This is what I wanted. I wanted to be able to arrange them. Look at that. Oh, that's way better. This is great. Arrange. This is exactly what I wanted to do. I wasn't. I was trying to figure out. Can I do this? Is this possible? So I like to have like. Like something like this. Oh, this is so nice, guys. You don't even understand. This is exactly what I wanted. I was like, I want to be able to rearrange. Every okay, this one I don't care about. Uh, rearrange everything so it's like more simpler to make happen. You know? This is great. There we go. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, wait, no, we want to. No, no. Rearrange and then the Garu and Lucky Punch. And then we want the heals next. So, like that. Then we. we uh, let's actually put the. We want it like this, right? There we go. Beautiful. Now, who's in my party? Did I fuck up my party by accident? No, I did not. Good. 
Oh, that's so cool. I was like, I didn't actually know you could do that. That changes everything. That is so awesome. I really like that. That's so cool. I mean, it makes sense that they have such a feature and such an option because it's just more convenient. And Persona is very good at um, kind of like... Kind of catering to like the player's wants, you know what I mean? Which is very nice. Oh, that's so nice. That's actually so nice. I never thought about it, but that's actually so good. That's a really nice one. I like that a lot. So we're supposed to be picking up some personas here. So I guess I'll start trying to backstab a couple. And uh, we are 10 levels higher, so we should be able to knock them, or to get them pretty easily. Because we want to fill up our persona uh, registry before we head to the Valve Room and do some fusion. I don't know if I'll do the fusion on, online or not. I mean, on camera or not. I haven't decided yet. And I think we're still waiting for Kaneshiro's confession right now. Shadows, so huh? that's what we're focusing on. Oh, I can't get used to them. It is best to keep your senses fresh anyway. Um, um, I, I got in my way to usually not insta kill the shadows because I want the experience and stuff. I think. I think if they made it that you, um, Who's next? I think if they made it that, what am I trying to yeah, say, um, victory. that when you insta-killed them, you still got the yen and the gold okay. that you would have got from a combat, it would have yeah, been so easy. much better, because it kind of, for me personally, makes me really not want to have the Ryuji social link up, but I gotta have the Ryuji social link up, because Ryuji is like one of the better characters to actually have in your party. So it's really, for me personally, very awkward. Because I'm like, I want Ryuji in my party, but at the same time, I don't want to do this, you know? That's, I don't want to do that. That's a very icky type situation for me. Because I don't get any experience or yen. So if say I need to buy things, or I need to level up, I'm not leveling up or buying things, because I'm not killing anything. This is bad. Why did you get a, why did you start? You say with a bit of fires, but he got the start, and I don't know why he got the start. I'm trying to figure that out. That's my killer though. Yeah, can't attack with anyone if I want to capture that guy, because Anne does a ton of magic damage. It's, I don't actually, I think she might have been a sister that gives her a magic boost, maybe. I don't know. Like, Anne definitely feels like she's doing a little more magic damage than anyone else right now. Oh, then again, Anne is kind of a mage, though, isn't she? As I, uh, yeah, I guess Anne's is more mage orientated because physical damage is not the best. But her physical damage is still pretty great. Now, if Anne was like Jessica from Dragon Quest and her whip actually would hit all targets, that would be insane. That would make Anne so useful. Inugami. Like I said, I don't mind getting a couple now because I've been told to do so by the guy. Just for Persona Fusion, I'm assuming. Because we, we need to fill up the Compendium to finish the game. So the more we do along the Blitz play, just for, as we're playing, Will it's just going to make it easier. My ride the best? If only it didn't shake so much. Let me concentrate on my stomach. It, um... What? That was the shortest floor I've ever seen in my life. There was one enemy? One enemy? In the entire floor? Dude, well that sucks. So now we're going to rest area 5, and as, as I mentioned, the guide wants me to leave. Now I am going to do that. Hey, this place is like a uh, rainbow. Maybe we can show here a bit. You can change the area okay. fire. So, yeah, the guy wants me to teleport back to the start of Mentos. So, actually, I'm going to be very naughty. Very, very naughty. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to edit here once again. I'm going to do one more one through Chemda. Only Chemda. For a little bit of a grind and to get a couple more personas. And I'll meet you guys back here where we continue on with the episode. And I think we're probably going to reach... Um, Come kind of Shiro's confession in this episode. So guys, uh, keep your eyes off of that. I'll see you guys soon. Or oh, for you in right now. And we're back after one one three just to pick up a couple of personas. Got the max. Oh, we missed one. Never mind. Not the max. I was wrong. But we got what we needed. So we're just gonna go into the valve room now. Something. I need you to let me into the valve room. <laughs> There we go. So I was just making sure everything was running because I kind of uh, muted quite a few things because I was going to grind. 
And I decided like halfway through the grind that I'm not actually gonna grind as much as I thought I was gonna grind. <laughs> so it ended up not really being much of a grind. So long and complicated grind stories like to read if you want to register left behind. It? Let's check here. So register stats. Current stats are better. Are you Man, sure? he couldn't just live up one more, two more times. Oh, two more times would have actually been a little bit hard. Two more times would have actually been a little bit hard. So You'd like that's to okay. This? Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna register our personas quickly that we want to. We are going to um, register that. Current stats. Register stats are so much better. Uh, this one will definitely be worse. And this one. This also slightly worse. Okay, great. So we're gonna go make some personas. Uh, we would like to have, uh, according to the guide, the following personas on us when we finish this: uh, Temperance, Priestess, and Fortune. So that's what we care about. We can make a lovers, and that's it. Okay, so we're gonna make a lovers Jack Frost and Black Ooze. You okay with this? That's fine. Select the skills. Choose the skills like right here. Um, let's think. Let's think. Power Kaj is always good. Regenerate one's good defense monster. Will so I want the defense monster? Oh. What about ambient aid? Mm. Ambient aid could be really good. Let's take ambient aid. Some new girls. Oh, wait, Let us begin. We're gonna skip, we're gonna skip the, the persona making guys. I'm, I'm sorry, like I think we showed it off once and it's the same unless we get the special one where we uh, where we don't actually get the persona, it's a failed persona creation. Which gives us a freebie persona. I shall be your new face. Now, come let us rejoice in the melody that draws forth true might. Interesting. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so, uh, as I was mentioning, we need to have a temperance, right. priestess, and fortune. So, we'll withdraw those if we don't get one now. But we should be able to... Lillum. Dude, these things are so high level. What the hell? Okay, so there's a fortune, but we need to make cloth through. But then I need to lose Ameno Uzumi. Um, uh, but we could also do this advanced yeah, fusion here. Then. Ooh, Kadama is there already. That's a star. We don't need a star though. What about normal? Fusion. What about uh normal fusion now and it's trying to get rid of stuff like uh for instance Ipodotarara. We could get rid of for a Tempens with Silky. Copatenga. We don't want the Copatenga, but we can do it, I guess. Do you really need select the skills you'd like to enjoy? Uh have Sledgehammer and Tower Gaiju. I don't know. <laughs> I see. It might actually end up being better than our current one we have, so that might be okay. Copper Tenga. Copper Tengu. Copper Tengu, I think is what it is. I actually took Japanese right. classes for like a month. And then um, I was going to continue on with it, but then I couldn't get to the classes because I lost my transportation. A little bit unfortunate. I might one day take that up again. Just so I can uh, pronounce things properly. Ah, one we have is fine. Don't need to re reach that one. Okay, um, fuse, normal now fusion. Choose. So we wouldn't mind losing. So we have a temperance, so now we need a fortune and a priestess. So Hopo cannot make a priestess or fortune. What about Inugami? A priestess or fortune. What about. Uh, oh, we can't use Amano. I guess we could use Amano, but I don't want to. Uh, hmm, is there literally no priestess or fortune here? To be made? Uh, game. Game, you're doing me a little dirty here. Doing me what a little dirty here. Want? Hmm. Okay, um. Can you gather them up? Hmm. We can make a naked shogun. We have all these things. We don't. I don't think we have our Anzu though. We could guillotine them. Um, let's sacrifice. guillotine. So, we choose the person we want to strengthen. Let's strengthen maybe Kadama, and we can use uh. Hopo, I guess. Is that enough? Give some this experience. Ah, uh, no, actually not Hopo. Use a strong one, like maybe Inugami. Because, it, yeah, we can get a level up on what her. The really these nice. powers unite. So I'm going to show you guys a gallows, because I haven't actually shown it off on camera. That's a little effed up if you think about it, because we literally hang a persona. It seems the sacrifice has been absorbed into your mask, imbuing it with greater power. So if we don't, if we can't make the persona we need to make, which it doesn't look like we can, we'll just withdraw to. It's okay. It's not the end of the world. Plimpa. Oh, Plimpa is really good, right? Okay, so we can go here and. Um, 
So what do we not mind? We don't mind using this and this, so we can make a Kodama. But we have a Kodama on us, so we can't make a Kodama because we have one on us right now. We can lose Makami, and then we can make a Kushi Mitama, which we don't need, or Matador, which we also don't need. We can make a Suzuka, which we don't need too. I don't really want to make a Matador. I think I'm just going to withdraw the two personas we need. It's okay. You'd like to read the compendium? Uh, yeah. So we need to withdraw a priestess and a fortune. Priestess, so we'll take the cheapest priestess that is not maxed up. Absolutely. Oh, it's actually kind of expensive. And then a fortune. A fortune. Do, 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 clothu. Clothu, oh, 8,000. That one hurts. We're gonna quickly fusion I guess, and see if we can make anything of the types I need. So no, we can't. Oh, that actually uses Aspirus and Clothu. Let's use Clothu and Mikami. So that was kind of tempting. Uh, let's use Hopo and Clothu. This one uses what does this use? Oh, they all use Clothu, I guess. Mm, let's make Lamia, and we can just withdraw Clothu again. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that. You okay with this? Choose the inherited um, skill. You can in get Mahama. Let's give you Makajama and Shopsira. It's power. <laughs> I see. Mm. I mean, we do have to withdraw the fortune, which is another 8,000 yen, but we got a new persona made out of it too. I am Lamia. I am the flames of vengeance. Any who oppose us shall be singed by the fire now within your mask. Very nice. Because mm. we get the chance to make new personas, and that's always something you should take. Setana uses Lamia and Absurus, which is really bad, so we don't really want to do that because we have to draw Absurus and Fortune out, but I guess we could. And we did just get Satana, so it's not... Ah, let's do it, it's fine. Choose the inherited skill, mm -hmm. inmate. Um, I like to go for Rebellion, it's kind of good. Uh, and we can go for Makajama and a Rising Slash. Nah, he, we don't need Rising Slash, let's go with Chop Suit instead. My, my. So as I mentioned, this guy was actually... Like when I played him in my first blind playthrough, he was really strong. He kicked my butt. He really kicked my butt, so that was always interesting to me. There we go. You can't handle nope, this. I don't want to do that. Nope. Let us begin the can we make anything? No, we can't. Okay. Good, good, good. So now we'll draw Absurus and like uh, Clotho again. Read here. And it's going to be another like 10,000. is required. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Not. Not Isis, Absurus. Maybe like accept another 11,000 slash. Um, Read here. What's the word? Um, what I'm looking for right now. 11,000 yen to get the two personas we need. Uh, Clothu and. A fee is this is your power. We're actually close to 12,000. Now we got what we need. Already? So now we get to leave. And uh, we spend a little bit of time here, a little bit more. So we bought, like, I would say, let's look. Um, we probably, if I'm correct here, I would say we're pretty much, like, 30, 39 minutes, 38 minutes in. So we got, like, another 20-ish minutes. Maybe we can do Kaneshiro. But we might say just because of the Kaneshiro confession, which not my, wasn't my plan, but it is what it is. Return to the real world. But, uh, yeah, that wasn't my original plan. I wanted to get the kind of sure confession in this episode, but a, thing, a few things took a little bit longer than I thought it would, so... It's okay. It's not a problem. I mean, I, like I said, this is a chilled playthrough, guys. I'm relaxing, taking it slow, just actually enjoying myself and having a good time. So I'm not, I'm not trying to rush anything unnecessarily. Uh, bum, bum, bum. Can I sure got rid of those photos, right? That's what he said. You think we can trust him? I doubt he'd lie if he really had a change of heart. Looks like we're all clear then. We can't be sure of that just yet. You mean he might not have had a change of heart? No, I'm relatively certain he did. That is not the issue. Despite Kaneshiro's change, his organization remains intact. I can really hope that they don't abscond with the photographs. You mean like run off with it? I guess that is possible. After all, loss of the leader does not necessarily spot out the demise of the group. That is merely common knowledge. But the opposite sometimes holds true as well. Some groups that lack a strong guiding hand will simply crumble. So this all depends on which way it goes. We'll be fine. We can now just pray the pieces fall in our favor. Hopefully Kaneshiro's confession motivates the police to crack down on the Mafia. I would have nothing more than to see them defeated once and for all. That'll be part of... That'll, that part will be up to Makoto says. That aside, we don't know. We've done everything we can for the time being. All that remains now is to wait until the results become clear. Cool. Another box came for you. Oh. Hello. 
What did I get? I don't even know. Oh, the 10 feast breaks. I actually forgot about that. <laughs> Completely forgot about that. Tilly, it's some strange writing at the scene of the crime. This must have been his dying message. It meant, I meant dying message. Was that a forgery slip? Just now, the detective. I mean, detective. Ooh, that was brutal. Even that hardball detective flinched when he heard that. <laughs> hey. You must be tired of today. Let's go to sleep. Go to sleep. Okay. I mean, your game pretty much gave me zero choice here. I'm going straight to sleep, baby. I don't know when. How many? I didn't see how many more days until the confession. I should have paid better attention, probably. Bum, bum, ba -dum. Ba -ba -da 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 -dum. This Good morning. It's overwhelmed. quite hot today. By the way, kind of sure his deadline is this weekend, isn't it? His change of heart draws near. The fantasies will be even more renowned than before when this goes public. I can't wait. Indeed. I suppose it's not a bad feeling to have your efforts recognized. I bet we'll get more requests on that message board too. I think we should take care of all the cases we have now while we still have a chance. I already did that yesterday, dude. Yusuke, I did that yesterday, man. Pay attention to what's been happening this whole time. Ba -bum. Ba -dum -bum -bum. Okay, so let me think. Is there anything I want to do? Um, I want to. Do I have the right personas? I need priestess, temperance, and fortune. Priestess, fortune, and temperance. Good. Temperance means coward come here. Action. Very excited. Very excited. To tell you the truth, I've been troubled lately. I mean, I've, it's been various things. Done daily life. Do you think we could meet? I'd like to tell you about it. I feel like I'm close to with Makoto thanks to Absaras. I feel like my bond with Makoto will grow stronger. So, what's it going to be? Do you want to hang out with Makoto? Go listen to her. Thank you. I'll be waiting in the student council room. I just want to point out we could have finished Anne and Yuji by now. <sighs> so my class had a practice entrance exam. My score was significantly lower than last time. I'm concerned. That is unlike you. I couldn't agree more. Actually, The truth is, recently I've started questioning the entire point of my education. What do I stand to gain from getting good grades and living up to my high expectations that my sister has set for me? I spoke to Aiko about this matter as well, but the answer hasn't become any clearer. Aiko? <laughs> hmm? You don't remember? Aiko Takawa? We asked her about the job she has at the salon in Shinjuku. Anyway, we've been calling each other every so often since we exchanged contact information. Because of those calls, we've actually grown somewhat close. When I voiced my concerns to her, she asked me how I would benefit from going to a top university, but I couldn't come up with a good answer. As Faker, her grades are not the best, but she claims she doesn't even think about that stuff. Apparently, her parents can use their connections to find her a job. But isn't that a little irresponsible? It's nice that she can rely on her parents, but this is her life, not theirs. I guess that's just a different way of approaching things. Even at that, her vision of the future is still clearer than mine. Don't you have any goals? What about college? What do you mean? Don't you have goals? I used to think doing what others expected of me was the best way forward. I was going to major in law just like my sister did. And even off that, I would simply have headed down whatever path society had made for me. But, but everything changed when I joined the Fantasy Thieves. I realize now that there are more important things in life than being a prim and proper honest student. Honestly, I would have looked down on Echo's line of thinking in the past, but I know better now. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> She must have known I was talking about her. Later, Oka's been telling me whenever she buys makeup or finds a cute new outfit. That reminds me, she asked me the other day what a hand cream I use. I sent her a picture and it's apparently the same brand they use in the nurse's office at the school. Why do you use it? Yes. That stuff works wonders for dry skin and it's great value too. Actually, My father used to use it all the time. Did I ever tell you he was a police officer? He detested the corruption in our society and worked tirelessly to bring it to justice. But despite the rough exterior, he was extremely gentle deep down. When I was little, I told him I wanted to grow up to be a police officer, just like he was. He was glad to hear me say that, but quick to point out that he didn't want me doing something so dangerous. I completely forgotten about that dream, to be honest. Do you still want to pursue it? It's an amazing goal. You're right. I suppose. Either way, after everything that happened, I have no intention of working with the police. Besides, they're trying to stop the fender thieves. What am I supposed to do? Arrest myself? Hmm. I think I need to re-examine what my goals for the future are, outside of just plain stunning. Thank you very much. You know, much. it feels like I remember something important today, thanks to you. 
I guess you, you could say my viewpoint has been brought in yet again. I can sense a quiet resolve from Makoto. Aww. Makoto is... Okay, I, I get it. I get why everyone likes Makoto so much. Follow-up. Chance to perform a follow-up. Attack. The Joker's attack does not down the enemy. All right. Follow-ups are great. Baton passes are great. Um, hey. When I met Aiko, I realized how narrow my viewpoint really was. I only just learned recently that Chemis is now called a camisole. And a button-down sweater is a cardigan. Why does the same thing have to have multiple names? I guess in the end, I'm just becoming more aware of how little I really know. So please, help me keep fighting back against that ignorance. I'll see you later. Thank you again for today. See you later. Aww. Yeah, Makoto is like really cute and things. And she's very um, innocent and things. Which I guess is like really attractive for some people. Me personally, I like the more older, experienced, uh, knowledgeable uh, types. Me personally. But you know, everyone has their own taste. And Makoto is very popular. Like one of the more popular characters actually. The blackmailing manager. Hey, it looks like the manager who was blackmailing the student confessing or fired. The student ended up quitting his part-time job there too. Apparently, company HQ tried to offer him money to keep quiet, and he just couldn't accept that. Still, he was really moved by what the fan thieves did. I quote, I can't believe they want to help solve a nothing high schooler's problem. Even I'm happy to hear that. Yeah. We really did a great job this time. Hearing how touched the student was is an added bonus too. I guess they really are all sorts of desires in the way in the dark corners of mementos. So this part's not on the guide at all, what I'm going to do now, but I'm going to do it anyway because it's starting to annoy me and the game has not once brought it up and it's that's starting to annoy me even more. And maybe it's not a necessi necessity at all, but my logic is I'm probably going to be able to make money off this, so I'm going to do it. So I'm actually going to wash dirty items. Do you want to wash some dirty items? You can wash up to four items for 200 yen. It might be good to ask how come to handle this for you, then you can spend time on something else. So I'm going to wash four items. You can put three more items, add another item. Add another item. Add another item. Nothing else will fit in there. Do you want to run the machine right now? Run the wash as is. So what do you want to do? It costs 5,000 yen for the housekeeping service. Call Kawakami. Oh, maybe because it's really expensive. Go ahead and call her then. Maybe the logic is it's too expensive to call her. Thanks for calling me. I came here just for you on my day off. So you better be grateful. Technically, this is still works. I, work, I wore my maid outfit. I still charge my user rate on my days off. That will be 5,000 yen, please. Uh, I figured it out. So basically, I what I'm thinking is also speak to because she's adorably cute. Look how cute she is, guys. Oh, my word. What? Laundry is a piece of cake. You go ahead and enjoy your free time. Jeez, I'm actually kind of jealous. <laughs> well, I mean, it does cost me 5,000 yen for that laundry. But yeah, I guess that's why the guide doesn't make me do it. Because the guide is very like, uh, that's a lot of money that we can't afford to use right now in the, in the game, I'm assuming, is what it is. So yeah, it is kind of interesting. I need to do some maths here on my brain quickly. 37 to 38. Oh shit, so it's like the end of the episode actually. Huh. We're actually ending the episode after the social link. I was I misjudged my timer. No wait, it can't be. 29 plus 31. 31. It's 48. Aha, I got 10 more minutes. So what to buy so you want to buy something to drink? I wanted to, but I can't now, so. Let's do this. Talk to Spintamachi. Well, did her fate change? Tell her the result. Fine. Fine, let's hear it. Please sit down. Chai is also also kind of adorable. I kind of like her too. Um, but I don't know. Something about her is not my style. Goodness gracious! She does have very pretty eyes though. Her boyfriend stopped abusing her. I don't believe it. But even if he did stop, her fate should still be heading down the path to misery without changing. I mean, look. What? of Arcana has completely changed. Death has moved far off into the future. That is not absolute. Hearts can be changed. Is what I'm going to go for. No, no, no. This must be some sort of trick. What are you, a scam artist? You made a deal with her boyfriend or something, didn't you? I didn't make any deals. I persuaded him. That's an obvious lie. It couldn't have been that simple. Plunge him into Tokyo Bay, or cram him into a metal drum and dump insects on him. That's a good idea, though. But I didn't. You must have taken some sort of extreme measures. I'm just an honest student. I'm not capable of that stuff. <laughs> well, you certainly do seem like just an ordinary high school kid. But there's no way that could have happened without you breaking the law. I mean, 
How could an ordinary high school student change the course of fate? Easy, boys. Fine. I'm just going to have to verify your power. The very power that reversed my tarot card prediction. This is quite a serious situation for a fortune teller like me. I need to get to the bottom of this. You won't have to do anything. Just sit next to me while I tell fortunes. And if another unopposable fate happens to appear, then I'll test your power. I'm to be vet. That sounds annoying. I get nothing out of this. Well, that may be true. Oh, I know. I'll read your fortune. Please. I'll even prioritize your readings over my regular customers. Besides, I'll be able to provide much more accurate predictions once I get to know you better. How does that sound? Is it a deal? I guess she is kind of cute. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I won't be able to go on. Please, Aww. I beg you. I need to know if fate truly can be changed. All right, I guess. I suppose you do see me so. All right, I guess. You will? Really? I guess she's so cute. Okay then, I look forward to verifying your skills. What do you mean verifying my skills? I just proved myself, didn't I? Okay. I'm the world's greatest uh, ever. Whatever you want to call it. I made a deal with Chihaya. Psy time! It's been a while since we had Psy time, guys. Very excited. Unless you were lucky, there's no way you could have repeatedly done so many crimes. Excuse me, Fromance. Or perhaps you had someone you consulted who gave you precise advice. You're not getting away this time with just luck. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. Oops, I accidentally pushed X, I'm sorry. With birth of fortune persona. La Rue de Fortune. Luck reading typically increases the growth rate of selected social stat. What? That sounds amazing. Holy crap. You've unlocked the Wheel of Fortune Covenant. Fusing personas of the Wheel of Fortune. Arcana will now grant you XP due to Arcana Burst. Chaya is now able to tell your luck reading. Is fate really something that can be changed? Of course. If it's really possible. Then. Hmm. Oh, it's getting late. Let's close up shop for today. It's past your curfew. That was so cute. She's adorable, guys. I must admit, I think she's cute. But she's the best. Hi. Thank you for waiting. Here you go. Pauldrons, old camisole, wild wound scarf, and an ancient shirt. Alright, I'll see you later. So yeah, I'm assuming the guy doesn't let Kawakami wash anything because it costs 5,000 yen and you don't really have money because you've not really been grinding, except I was grinding, so it's probably fine for me to use the money like that, even though the game does not. So I think the game doesn't recommend it per se, it's more that the game doesn't uh, mention really? it. Shogi, that's a grandpa-ass game to get into now. Nah, it's back in fashion, there are a lot of young Shogi pros out there right now. I've been following Hifumi Togo. She's incredibly skilled for a high school student, not to mention pretty. She hasn't played much lately though, I heard she practices alone in a church somewhere. She plays shogi in a church? I don't get it, seems strange. Did you hear that? I don't care about shogi, about the pretty girl. That girl sounds familiar. Right. Yeah, she must be the same one Yusuke mentioned earlier. I didn't realize she was a famous shogi player. I mean, we literally had this conversation earlier, right? Didn't we have this conversation earlier? I'm so confused. Bum, bum, da, 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 da. Well, well then, we let's begin, begin class. We'll start with the summary of the previous lesson. Well, um, Mr. Unui, please come to the faculty office at once. Oh, I'm going to the faculty office, so make sure you take this time to study. Kawakami is graciously giving us this free time, so we better put it to good use. What so, what's the plan? Do? Uh, read. Do -do -do. Uh, ghost encounters. At the moment, we definitely saw a ghost. Whoa, why are you reading that? Whatever you do, just don't read it out loud, okay? What's wrong with reading this book? I'm so sorry, I don't understand. 
Mm. Oh, I didn't realize. How long have you been reading? So, how far did you get? Seems like you still have some pages left. You should continue some other time. Bada -bam. Ah. ah, the teacher's back. You could have paid that announcement. At any rate, let's return to our lesson for now. I did yep. hiccup slash yawn there. It was weird. Phew, that was close. Kawakami helped us get a good chunk of free time though. Kawakami's best. I actually, like, and I know I've said this millions of times, and I'll continue to say it millions of times because I feel like I have to explain how serious this is. Kawakami's mm. literally the best, absolute best social link in the game. It's raining. The way where they fix people here might affect the mentors. Do we know that? Okay, so we don't have to buy. Oh, wait. Is this a new week? Hmm, this might be a new week. Let's core chart it up. Let's core chart it up for new juices. Uh, I think we bought on Monday though, but I can check. Yeah, we did bought on Monday. Sweet. Okay, so we want to go to Ichigaya. We're gonna go fishing, boys and girls. Fishing time. Very excited. I like fishing. It's really fun. And that's gonna be an episode after the fishing though, but... Welcome! Are you a high schooler? You've got taste in, You've got good taste and hobbies. Using the fishing pond. Fishing will cause time to pass, but the points you gain from catching fish can be exchanged for prizes. Your proficiency will also improve. The fish caught are scored on their size and species. Real and large and rare fish for more points. As your proficiency increases, the number of times you can fish per visit will increase as well. Try to increase your proficiency accordingly. If you want to fish, it'll be 3,000 yen. Uh, and I'll give you a nice discount if you come in at. Uh, let me use the fishing bond. What prize do you have? Let me come again. Let me use the fishing bond. I can't actually remember how to do this, so the game better give me a tutorial. <laughs> Alright then. Here's the bait. You should be able to catch some small fish with these. It's raining today. You might see a lot of rare ones. Small boily times seven. Which bait are you going to use? Small boily. Fishing controls part one. Use the left stick to choose the direction you want and then press X button to cast your line. How far the line goes depends on the power goal. Try to press the X button at the correct time to land the bait in front of a fish. Once you cast a line, wait for the fish to take the bait. You can redo your cast and reselect the bait by pressing O. Okay, so we want to catch small fish, so like, that just should be fine. Press the X button with the, press the X button where the fish bites to hook the fish before it escapes. Move the blobber icon with the left stick to the red zone and rapidly press the X button to reel it in. Try to avoid reeling outside of the red zone. The fish rod has set amount of durability. If the bobber hits the gorge walls too often, the line will break and the fish will escape. Okay, can't we? Uh, I thought we could um, like reel it in. And then like, nope. I guess I guess not. Dude, there's not a lot of small fishing. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. There we go. That should be perfect. Come on, small fishing. Come on, small fishing. It's right in front of you, man. Well, that's behind you, but yo, small fishing. Yo, fishy. Fish, what the fuck, dude? You had one job. Oh, that was a little bit too powerful. Oh, wait, that's not, that's not right there. You can do it, fishy. Oh, yes, he sees it. Wait, yes. fight. Oh, that was so easy. How'd it go? Uh, win a tag, 10 meter size. Rock up. Nice. What, sh what do you want to do? Should we keep going? Fish. Small boily. So, small fish. There's a small fish over there. Need quite a lot of power, so maybe that much. Uh, it's a little bit far. Uh, it's a little bit far. That was a little bit far. We'll do it again. It's fine. There's only three small fish. It's not fair. That's not far enough. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I have a target. Target quite. Got it. Oh, yeah. Easy. 20 centimeter winner tag. Tokyo Bitterling, baby. Easy. What do you want to do? Fish. Small boily. Again. Uh, are, you, are you considered small or are you considered medium? What is your size? Oh, he he went straight for it. He went straight for it. He didn't even hesitate, guys. He knew where the he knew what he wanted. and He got it. A redfish, ten centimeters. Very small one. You still got some time. What do you want to do? Fish. We can still fish. Nice. I thought our fishing was kind of like done, but it doesn't seem that way. Ooh, that one's a bit far. We cost. We don't want to waste too much time because of uh, reasons. There we go. That looks perfect. Look at that. Oh, the fish can't resist. Oh, two fishies. They both want it. Who's going to be first? Oh, unfortunately, the red guy was first, man. The red fish times. Win attack. Ten you spent a while here. What do you want to do? Fish some. We can still fish. Let's go, baby. That's great. The more I can fish, the better. Fish, you suck. It was right in front of you. You missed it. What the hell? Easy. Oh, look at this. He, he can't resist. 
He doesn't know what to do. He doesn't know. And I got a. He didn't know what to do. 20 cm movement with a tag. Tokyo Bling. It's getting pretty late. Maybe you should stop here. Oh, we only got. Oh, okay. Nice job. It's. I know this was just for fun, but it seems like you actually managed to boost your proficiency. Good. That's what I want to see, baby. Bam, bam, bam. Well then, your haul for today is rough carp, huh? It's 10 cm, isn't it? That's 30 points. Oh, it's got a tag. In that case, it's worth double, so that racks up to 60 points. Tokyo building, huh? It's 20 centimeters in length. That's 50 points. Oh, it's got a tag. In that case, it's worth double, so it racks up 100 points. F fish, huh? It's 10 centimeters in length. That's 30 points. Red fish, huh? It's 10, that's 30 points. Oh, it's got a tag. It's 60 points. Tokyo building, 50 points. Oh, it's got a tag. 100 points. Today's haul comes out to 350 points. Oh, man. I'm so good at this game. Holy crap. 350 points. Since this is your first time here, I'll give you some medium-sized bait as a bonus. Medium boily times three. What do you want to do? Uh, what prizes do you have? Do, do, do. And I want to buy medium boilies. Apparently with uh, all of the money we have. So we'll do it, because that's what the guide says. What do you want to do? I'll come again later. Do, do, do. We're open both day and night, so feel free to stop by any time. Sweet. But on that fishy note, we're going to end the episode there. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Persona 5. Platinum 100% let's play if you did please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe it's really important and it really helps a lot and i really really do appreciate it. apparently hitting the bowels important too so if you guys want to do that go ahead it really doesn't bother me though leave a comment if you want and all the other good stuff check out my patreon link in the description below if you want to give me money um and yeah i think that's enough self-promotion so for now thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time